today's video, we're going to be replacing a very important filter. Everyone knows to replace the intake air filter for the engine, but very few people have either heard of or replaced a cabin air filter. The cabin air filter is used to filter air that is drawn into the vehicle from the outside for the air condition or heating system. The outside air is drawn in by the windshield wipers, as you can see right here. If you notice that there's an odor coming from the air vents or reduced airflow from the vents, then you'll definitely want to inspect and or replace the cabin air filter. A dirty cabin air filter can result in mold, pollen, bacteria, and odors entering the vehicle. For the best air quality, it's recommended you replace the cabin air filter at least once a year or every 12,000 miles. Okay, let me open up the door show you exactly where mine is located. Okay, in my vehicle, the cabin air filter is located behind the glove box. So what I'm going to have to do is remove the glove box as well as this trim right here, the screws on each corner. And then I'll be able to get to the filter, which looks just like this right here. And I'm sure it's going to be absolutely filthy so I can just imagine all the leaves and grime clogging up that filter. Now your filter may be located behind the glove box, underneath the dash in a different spot, or under the hood. You're going to have to look up your vehicle online to find out the location. Okay, let me start disassembling the glove box. Now this box was fairly easy to remove on the sides of the box, right over here. There's a little plastic clip that had to be slid out from the inside of the glove box. There's also a small cable right here with a piece of plastic that was holding it right over here. That cable goes through the side of the glove box and it locks onto this. This way it can't drop down too far. And there's three screws along the bottom right here where the hinges. I'll take this one out and the whole box can be removed. Then I'm going to have to remove the screws. One over here, one over here, and a couple at the bottom, and then all this plastic will come out, and I'll be able to get to the air filter. Let me do that, and I'll be right back. I just laid it down by the floorboard, and you can see right over there, that long strip, is where the air filter is going to be hidden. I'm just going to pull that piece of plastic right there down a little bit, open the door, and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay. There's the filter. This little door went up top, locked in, and it snapped in on the bottom. So you gotta pull from the bottom, pull it out. Now let's slide it out and take a look. I'm sure it's going to be a mess. Let me go very easy. You can see the leaves and crud on this side. So the air is being drawn in from the right. And then this side here goes towards the vents. Pull it through all the way. And take a closer look at it. Don't want to bang it too much. And on the left there, you can see the evaporator core. Right there. And here's a closer look at it. There's a whole bunch of leaves inside that plastic box in there. So what I'm going to have to do is reach in there with the vacuum hose, clean it out. There's a lot of crud along the bottom here. And let's just look inside the pleats. There is a lot of crap inside the pleats right there. You can see it. Alright. So let me bang this out to take a peek. And look at this. It fell apart in the process. Take a look at it. Look inside those pleats. Look at that. Okay, let me clean up the box and reinstall the new one. Now I'm just going to go inside. There's a whole bunch of crud all the way in in the back. I'll reach in with a vacuum hose, clean that up, and reinsert the new filter. Okay, this is all clean in here by the evaporator. Airflow is going from the right to the left, so I want to make sure the arrow on the filter goes to the left. And, and that looks really nice. 
Now I'm going to take this, put it back on, top first. And there it is. Okay, everything is put back together. And I have the fan on high. And there is definitely a huge difference in the volume of air coming out of the vent. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.